very special groundbreaking ceremony to announce or start the plans for the construction of the new St. Vincent Center. This is a new state-of-the-art practice and locker room facility for the Pacers. It is also much more than that. As you see, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver, Pacers owner Herb Simon as well. The groundbreaking ceremony held inside because of inclement weather inside the entry pavilion. This will also be home to St. Vincent Sports Performance offices directly across the street. It will connect via a tunnel underneath to the field house. This is a big deal. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver among the guests on hand for the festivities. Uh, we're very proud of this building. Uh, we will be going uh, really into the ground this week. You'll start seeing changes across the street. We'll be, we'll, we'll, we will be open by 17, and it'll be a fantastic facility. It will really help with this uh, continued uh, continuity of our Delaware Street corridor. Uh, coming from City Way uh, all the way up through the City County building, the new transit center. Uh, we really think it's going to be a great opportunity for the eastern part uh, of our city. We do everything we can to bring the best product and the best team and the best group to this city. And part of staying current is to have a practice facility which will help attract new players, keep our current players healthy. So that makes me, uh, that's a very exciting thing for the Pacers, and I'm happy to announce it today. I'm also thrilled that we have a partner like St. Vincent's, who is, with their sports medicine, is only going to increase the potential of working together, keeping our team in the tip-top shape. This facility is going to be top-notch. We need it. Uh, it's not that the one downstairs is bad by any means. There's just not enough room. Uh, with the addition of the D-League team that uh, the Pacers bought uh, last year. I think we're going to have more kids in here in the summer. Uh, we're going to try to develop as many as we possibly can. And um, it's just ran its course, and it's time to move on. As you said, Herb, that in the league now, part of being a world-class league and having world-class organizations is that ability to compete at the highest level through first-class arenas and practice facilities and I would just say to everyone here and everyone listening I had the opportunity to spend um, several hours this morning with Larry Bird and Kevin Pritchard and the um, basketball side of the organization and if you were fortunate enough to be in that room you would come away with the kind of confidence that I have in Larry and the Simon family and and their ability to lead this organization to be world-class 